We got algae all here across this beach. This is prime foraging. We got pelicans diving, offshore reefs. This is what it's all about with sea turtles nesting in Costa Rica. Here we got a body pit right here, collecting leaves. We're gonna walk carefully between them. We're gonna head over. There's one of the many piles of bottles. There's another body pit right there where the sea turtles are nesting here in Costa Rica. Yeah, look at that fishing line, huge balls of monofilament, a whole bag full of debris. We're out here on the beach in Costa Rica at Secret Spot. Sea turtles nest here. Mark Ward, Sea Turtles Forever, is leading they, the charge. They use these socks. I found a lot of socks. They're hooked to the monofilament. They're using them for bait bags or something. I think. Chum bags. Yeah, more marine debris. So to all the other researchers out there, put socks on your data sheet. We're gonna head back and focus on bottles. It's a beautiful area, but we're probably gonna get about 200 bottles in less than a quarter mile, easy. Each, each. we'll get 400. You watch. Yeah. There's a lot of bottles here. No one's touched this place yet, other than monofilament, which I have been pulling monofilament out of here. But it comes, monofilament fills in every day. Because this is a fishing area. The harbor for the boats is uh, about one kilometer south of here. Costa Rica, Playa Cajones, Sea Turtle Nesting Beach with Mark Ward at Sea Turtles Forever. This is Chris Kinsetich with the Sea Turtle Restoration Project. We're doing one of many transect surveys for marine debris and plastic. You can see we got our transect line, we got our perpendicular line set up. Mark's going to be walking up it looking for debris. There he goes, walking up. He's got his data sheets, he's got his bag ready to collect anything he finds. He's taking his measuring stick, exactly two and a half meters. We cut that stick to do the draft protocol that's in development for official measurements. It looks like he's setting it down. He may be checking to see if some debris is within the range of the survey. We're going to be heading up this beach where over 50 sea turtle nests have been found over the years, mostly green sea turtles, for at least 100 meters covering 20% of the beach, doing a detailed survey of plastic and marine debris on sea turtle nesting beaches, and cleaning them up one at a time. <laughs> 